So let me just show you what Oki's got going on today. Some spare ribs. Look at those. And this is one rack, but I went ahead and cut them in half because Dolores don't want any honey on hers. And here, before I wrap them, I'm going to go ahead and add honey to one of them. But it violates her keto guidelines. Yeah, so right now, I've just got those on there. Uh, both are seasoned exactly the same. I haven't added any honey or sauce or anything. I've just got them on there. I'm going to cook them for a couple of hours, too, maybe a little longer um, in this pit uh, barrel. And then I'm going to wrap them. This is the first time I've cooked them like this in a pit barrel. Usually I hang them. Uh, but here's how I season them. Go check it out. First, I like to just go ahead and add some mustard. You can add whatever binding agent you want. Honey works well. Uh, olive oil works well. Even water, I've heard. Hot water. But I'm just going to go ahead and rub some uh, mustard on here. Uh, you won't taste it in the final cook. Uh, it's just going to help to hold the seasoning together because that's what we want to do is make it flavorful. And I'm going to start out with some uh, garlic wood fire a kinder seasoning. I'm going to be adding a few different seasonings on here uh, for layers of flavor. So I'm just going to sprinkle that all over this spare rib. And then Cosmos Dirty Bird. This is one of my favorite seasonings. Uh, they have a, a spicier version, but we're going to take care of that with our next seasoning because uh, we're going to add a little spice to it. But we're going to really cover this. Now this, we wanted to change the color of these ribs. And we want to put a very generous coat all the way around until it's really covered. And after this, you tell the heat I was talking about is some habanero. I get this at the Pepper Palace right here in Oklahoma City. There's a little pepper store uh, in Bricktown. And uh, I just go ahead and put some of that on there. That's going to add that layer of heat that I want. And just repeat all three, same order on the back side, the bone side. I've already removed the membrane uh, from this uh, a little bit ago. Now we're just seasoning it up nicely. You can just see that looks at, look at that. Does that not look great? Wow. And then I just go ahead and cut it in half just so I can add honey to one. And the other one I'm just going to leave uh, without any honey on it once we do the wrapping process. So looks great. So yeah, just out here on a little bit of a cool, uh, you might call it dreary, little rainy, little sprinkly day. Um, be back in a couple of hours and we'll check on them, see how they look. You know, after I was, uh, after I'd already put these on, I was looking at it and I said, man, there ain't much smoke. Uh, I forgot to put my chips in. I threw a few uh, hickory chips in. I had to pull it out, put some hickory in here, and then I'll put it back on so we get some of that smoke flavor. All right, it's been uh, about two hours cooking now and still got some rain falling. At least we got this GoPro out here, so I ain't got to worry about the camera. Uh, but let's take a look. Those do look good. Wow. Now, what I'm going to do, there's a couple ways we can do to see if these are ready to wrap. Uh, one of them is you can actually just grab a glove and just kind of like rub on here. And you see how the seasoning is not coming off? The seasoning isn't sticking to the glove. That means they're ready. Some of this area may not be 100%, but... For the most part, uh, that's one way to check it. You could say we might give it just a little bit longer, and I might. Uh, the other way to check it is just with a little uh, thermometer, and let's see what our reading is. Right in the meat part. We're, we're, we're way too hot. Yep, it's time to wrap. We're probably only going to wrap these. Yeah, for about, because we're above 180. You can wrap these starting at around 170. So I think we were uh, past the wrap stage. So let's go inside and wrap them right on up. Let me put this lid on while I go get that ready to wrap. So now what I'm getting ready to do is just start uh, the wrapping stage. I'm going to add a little bit of butter and honey to one and just butter to the other. And then uh, we're going to wrap it up. Throw it on for about a half hour. Up to an hour, uh, about 200 degrees internal is what we're looking for. And on the one, I'm going to use honey on this side. I should have actually put this down first. We're going to move this, and then we're just going to go ahead and throw our uh, 
little pieces of butter down. And then just got some honey here. I'm just going to run that all on here. Like that. Put that right over those. And I'm going to add some butter on the top part. And honey all on the top. And I'm also going to add just a dash of IPA beer, which will be cooked out. And we're just going to fold this. And I do have it double wrapped. So all that will stay inside. And I will remember which one has the honey. And then we're going to move over to this one. A few sticks of butter here, little pieces of it, raise up, put underneath. And we're going to put some right on top. We're just going to wrap it. So going on first is this one with the honey, the butter, and the beer. It'll be right there. This one is strictly butter. Right there, that's strictly butter, and we're gonna go ahead and let those set and cook for about a half hour. All right, it's been about 30 to 45 minutes later. This is the one that had no uh, honey or anything added, just strictly butter. Wrapped for about, I think it's about 40 minutes, but you can see that butter and look at those juices, wow. So that, that smells great. It does. This one is the one I added the honey, the butter, and a dash of beer. Had to add a second one of these because I actually tore the bottom of this, so I had um, some juices spilling out. I did do a probe test, and these are running, knocking on the temperature of about 200 degrees or excess. So where we, where we want to be, and just look at those. It is steaming. It is looking good. What I'm going to do now is on this one, I want to add just a little bit more honey. There we go. A little bit more honey on it. And maybe even a dash of seasoning. And we're going to throw that back on uncovered for about 15 minutes. And we're just going to leave this one alone as far as adding anything to it, but we're still going to throw it on as well for about 15 more minutes. This will be the keto version. Uh, this will be the one with the honey. And uh, then when you come back, we're going to go ahead and cut them and see how they turn out. All right, it's been about another 20 minutes and <laughs> folks, look at this. We have cooked them uncovered, finalized it, and I think they look great. This is the one we added the honey to. That's the one we're gonna go ahead and cut into. Let's go ahead and cut this thing up and see how it looks. It smells great. Let me go ahead and you can see them bones coming out there. So wow, they do look good. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Go ahead and start right here. There it is. See if it has some of that heat. Out of that habanero to it, the bark looks great. Looks really good. Let me go ahead and take a bite. That has some amazing flavors. That is some of the best ribs. 
the layers of that seasoning. It's got a little bit of that spice. The, that is a flavor bomb. That's really, really good. That is really, really good. So you can cook ribs uh, a lot of different ways, but that is unbelievable. And when you do your ribs, uh, make it how you like it. This is how we like it, and uh, wow. See you guys soon.